Yeah, some of my influences was like, Hove really was big. I listened to a lot of stuff that my big brother played me too. So like, Hove was big. Like Nas was big. Like I don't know a lot of a lot of like Tribe. I listened to a lot of Tribe. I listened to like a lot of Outkast, a lot of Pac. Like, right? and then like after a while, I started getting into like Kanye and shit. Like when I started getting to be like a teenager and shit, and then just. I just listen to everything though, you know what I mean? Like my dad used to play me Keek the Sneak, like he used to play me Mac Dre, like I just started listening to everything, you know what I mean? My dad was like the type of person that was into what he was into, you know what I mean? Like that's how my music taste is now. Like he was just into what he was into. But like I said, like the the most like the Bay Area rappers my dad put me on was like Keek the Sneak, Too Short, Mac Dre. Four I mean, we was already listening to 40, but he really put me on like Keek the Sneak, hella heavy, and Mac Dre hella heavy, cause he fuck with them a lot, and I fuck with them a lot too. Oh man, I love my mom. Like if I could just take what Pac said, when he, yeah, that sound bite when he's talking about his mom, he's talking about women and how much he loves women and how much he loves his mom. That's like exactly how I feel about my mom. My mom is like really the GOAT, bro. Like she really held me down like when I was in college and when my dad moved away and still like holds me down. It's like, we talk all the time like, She's she's hella cool. Like we are hella like close and transparent with one another. She's dope, um, and she influenced me too. Like she's where I get like my neo soul like side of music and like yeah my soft side and like my my mom is like the reason why I'm like caviar like premier like top. My mom is like she is honestly the type of person that was been living her best life before it was the thing. You know what I mean? Like. She was always like, don't deprive yourself of like new experiences and new things and, you know, open your mind to like new, you know what I mean? And expand your food palette, try different stuff. Like do this, do that, you know what I mean? So my mom is, uh, she's dope. She's responsible for like a lot of my mindset. I started off like listening to like Gym Class Heroes. That was like the first time I started listening to like hip hop that was like alternative. And then I started fucking with like rock Shit, I started fucking with like Paramore and shit. <laughs> I started fucking with like hella different music, like LCD sound system, like 30 projectors. Like when I got out of high school, when I when I got out of high school and I went to college, that's when I started listening to hella different shit. So I listen to everything though. It's hard for me whenever I get asked that question because I'm always listening to everything. I guess the best way to see like what I listen to is like, I share songs on my Twitter and my Instagram, like what I'm listening to. Cause I really listen to everything, you know, so. Right now I'm playing a lot of Prince. Um, man, let me just show you actually. All right, so we got some SOBRB, some SWV, some Rich the Kids, some Robin Thicke, some White Reaper, some T-Rex to see. My tour manager just put me on some Sway Lee, some Quentin Tarantino soundtracks. Got some fucking hella prints, hella prints in here. And then some Sade in here, some Billy Idol. A lot of good stuff, some Cuban Doll, some Napalm. Uh, yeah, Rick James, like a lot of just hella shit. Like that's my recently, I my, like, on Apple Music, my recently played type shit. But I listen to hella shit, like, I'm always listening to hella music. A lot of times I get out of rap just to listen to other stuff because I like music in general, you know.